प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टू गेट अपडेट्स ऑल्सो प्रेस बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ न्यू अपलोड्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर अजय वर्मा वेलकम यू टू मैकेस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू ड्रॉ प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ ए लाइन विच इज इंक्लाइंड विद बोथ द प्लेन्स दैट इज ऑब्लिक लाइन इन दैट पार्ट वी डिस्कस्ड ओनली अबाउट द प्रोजेक्शन नाउ इन दिस दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग टॉकिंग अबाउट हॉरिजेंटल ट्रेस एंड वर्टिकल ट्रेस ऑफ द स्ट्रेट लाइन हाउ टू फाइंड दैम एंड द मेथडोलॉजीज सो this was the diagram in the next uh, in the previous video where we projected a straight line ab with length of 60 mm and front view top view everything was obtained there now what is horizontal trace and vertical trace first understand this so say this is the straight line for which we have drawn this these projections if i extend this straight line from here up to the vertical plane so the point at which it strikes the vertical plane means this point this will be horizontal trace or we can say that it is the point of intersection of the straight line uh, if required it is extended it is a point of intersection of straight line with the vertical plane right if i extend this line further so it will definitely strike somewhere at horizontal plane also so that point will be the horizontal trace now how to find so basically it is a point so we have to draw the projections of these two points one vertical plane uh, vertical trace and second one is horizontal trace now there are things to be remembered a point which is on hp say for example this point this is say ht so its front view will always be on x y line if you see, look from this side this point is always on the hp so on x y line a point which is on vp so if you see from top the uh, top view of the point will be on the reference line itself so for ht and vt one of the views will be on x y line and another view we have to find out so for vertical trace the top view of the vertical trace is always on x y line while for horizontal trace the front view is always on x y line so let us start the process there are basically two processes to find out ht and vt one is the extension of the projections method and another one is that trapezoidal method we discussed in the projection of points so let us first attempt the first method first in first method what we do we extend the front view towards x y line so extend this front view towards x y line so that it cuts x y line at a point say small h this small h uh, h dash basically this small h dash is nothing but front view of the horizontal trace so initially we are obtaining horizontal trace so to get horizontal trace you have to extend front view towards x y line now drop a perpendicular on this h dash okay then extend this top view towards this vertical line so this is the top view so if i extend it up to this perpendicular the point obtained is horizontal trace so this horizontal trace is nothing but this is the top view of the horizontal trace that is ht and this is the front view so in this manner you can find out ht first extend the front view towards xy line the cutting point will be h dash and then you have to extend uh, you have to drop a perpendicular on this h dash and then extend the top view towards this vertical line so the intersection point will be h dash ht right this is h dash now in the similar manner you can find out uh, vertical trace and its top view right so in this now you have to take the top view extend it up to x y line so this will be the intersection point right this point may be denoted at 
small b which is the top view of the vertical trace right now drop a perpendicular on this point on this perpendicular when front view cuts that point will be the vt is it okay so in this manner you can find out the vertical trace and horizontal trace the another method that is trapezoidal method say for example this is xy line and projections are given this is say a dash b dash just like that and this is say for example top view so what we do in this method we draw two perpendiculars on this front view right if a dash and b dash are at the same side of xy line then you have to draw perpendiculars in same directions so draw two perpendiculars here and then take distances to cut on these perpendiculars from the top view so first distance from xy line to a this distance and cut on the line so that this is a then xy to b means from here to here you have to take distance and cut here so that this will be obtained so when we join these two points this is the true length of the line in this manner so this is a this is say b this method we have discussed in projection of points also so i will provide the link for that particular video in the description section of this video so this is the true length of the uh, straight line then extend this true length and the front view so that this point the intersection of these two points these two lines will be vertical trace if i drop a perpendicular from here to xy line that will be h dash similarly to find out ht you can drop two perpendiculars here also then take distance from the front view so this is first distance so it will be somewhere around here and this is the second distance from xy to b dash so say for example it is somewhere around here so when we join these two points this is the true length and if i extend it further so the intersection point will be the ht so in this manner you can find out ht and vt also so this is the extension of the projection method this is trapezoidal method any one of the methods you can use the benefit of this method is that not only we are getting vt but we can also find out the true lens here and also these angles are nothing but this is phi angle and this is theta angle thanks for watching this video in the next video we will be taking problems of straight line and then solve them